to express are excellent, Debbie. Thanks for your call this morning. Uh, the sentiments are excellent. You've got it all right. Uh, Richard, hello. Uh, good morning, John. Good morning, Richard. Um, yeah, I mean, this is just this is just left wing liberal lunacy, and I mean these dames. They are not. They simply are not that intelligent. I would like to be generous and say they've been they've been brainwashed, but there's probably a little bit of that. But you know, Mary Tate has never been a bastion of um, sharp thinking, like Michael Bassett. You know, a man like Michael Bassett running the country, we'd be in a totally different mindset of... Well, we would. We would. We would. But, you know, the interesting thing is uh, Michael Bassett uh, was in Parliament uh, and is a mate of mine, uh, full disclosure here, really good mate of mine. Michael Bassett was in Parliament with me 30, 40 years ago, and we had these issues then and we made big speeches about them then and we gave all the rhetoric and narrative delivered uh, in the parliament week after week then and nothing has changed. In actual fact, I've got to say, it's got worse, Richard. Yeah, and this notion that Maori are victims, they're victims of their own genetic background. They are genetically predisposed to crime, alcohol, and underperformance educationally. They just do not have the... They're Stone Age people from a Stone Age culture, and I'm not interested one bit, and neither have my children been interested in their Stone Age culture. Oh, just a minute, just a minute. Your children need to get used to their Stone Age culture because if their Stone Age culture doesn't change, these people will come through your bathroom window. Exactly. Exactly, Richard. So uh, thanks for the call. Uh, These people, your children, Richard, need to get used to it. It it, it is your children's issue as well Uh, because um, if if you're tired, there's an old saying, um, if you tie a dog to a tree by a chain and kick it, uh, it's going to bite you, always. And uh, if we think that we can uh, tie people to trees and kick them without them reacting, we're kidding ourselves. And we've allowed this to go on for far too long. And when is it going to be dealt with? Well, it's not going to be dealt with when you've got liberal race relations conciliators that have very liberal views on these things. When you have a children's commission with the same views on the world and we have Maori leadership in the forms of knighted Maori women kuyas saying the kind of things they say, it's not going to change. And they've got to accept responsibility. The change will come from the marae, the change will come from the wider family and the change will come from their mums and dads. That's where change can come from, not from the government. G'day, Jason.